This is how to play the solo of the day that never comes. And it starts off on the fourth fret of the G string. You're gonna do a gradual bend. So you get up to about one and a half steps higher than it really is. And you might want to throw in a few pinch harmonics too. You're going to end with doing three of them. Three bends and releases. And the second fret G string. Then fourth fret D string. Hold it. Then seventh fret D string. Hammer on ninth fret. Seventh fret G string. Ninth fret D string. Do it again. Do it again. But this time, don't hold the ninth fret of the D string. Seventh fret G string. Ninth fret. Bend. Release. Pull off to the seventh fret. Then ninth fret. Pull off seventh fret again. Ninth fret D string. 7th fret G string, 9th fret, 7th fret B string, 8th fret, 10th fret, then 12th fret. Then you're going to slide up to the 17th fret of the B string. Then 14th fret E string. This part, very common in death magnetic solos. You're going to do a series of pull-offs from the 17th fret of the E string to the 15th to the 14th. And the same thing on B string. I think you do both of them uh, I think eight times. And then you do it again. And you're going to do 16th fret pull off, 14th to the 13th. And, the same, and then the B string one with the 17th fret. Then 16th fret one on the G string. And then 15th fret B string to the 14th. 16th fret G string. 14th fret B string. 16th of the G string. 14th. 12th fret. 14th. 14th bend release. 12th fret. 14th. 12th. And then 14th D string, and then 12th fret G string. And let's see, so I can tell you the exact notes here. Um, you got the 12th fret of the G string. This formation here, where you put your uh, middle finger on the 13th fret of the D string, and your first finger on the 12th fret of the G string. Keep that same pattern, and just slide down one fret. You're gonna end right there with the 8th fret to the 9th fret of the D string. Oh no, I'm sorry, you keep going. The 7th fret, 8th fret, 6th fret, 7th. Then 9th fret, A string. 9th fret, D string. 7th fret, G string. 9th fret, D string. 7th fret, G string. 9th fret, G string. Twice more. 8th fret, B string. 9th fret G string, 8th fret B string, 10th fret, then twice again, 8th fret E string, 10th fret B string, 8th fret E string, then 10th fret. And then you're going to do uh, put your first finger on the 10th fret of the B string and bend the 12th fret of the G string to match it. Do the same thing a half step higher. This part is actually harder than it seems like it is. Um, I only started learning this yesterday. And what you're going to do is you have your pinky on the 14th fret of the E string, 12th fret B string, 10th fret to the 12th fret. Do that twice. Oh no, sorry, four times. 15th fret E string, 13th fret B string. 12th fret, 13th, and then just keep doing that four more times. 17th fret E string, 15th fret B string, 13th, 15th. 
and then 19th fret, 17th B string, 15th, 17th, 17th. And this time, you're going to alternate on the highest string between the 17th fret and the 19th. Just like that. And then do it all over again. And the last time, I'm gonna um do use these three fingers. Just go down the neck on um, the speed picket. And then you get the seventh fret E string, tenth fret B string, seventh fret. 9th fret G string, 7th fret, and 9th fret G string, 7th fret G string, 9th fret G string, bend on the 10th fret of the B string, then 14th slide on the D string, 12th fret of the G string, 12th fret B string, 15th fret bend B string, 16th fret G string, 15th fret B string, 17th, 15th fret, E string, 17th, and finally, 19th fret, E string, slide up to the 22nd, and just bend to the 24th. So after that whole solo, you're going to go back and do these, do it twice, just like you did before. And then you go into this, except then the second time you hit that 7th fret power chord, you're going to hit 3rd fret, this is all palm meter, 3rd fret, E string, 2nd and open twice and do that whole thing twice and do that again so 8th fret power chord 7th then you're gonna move these two fingers up so you have an, a bar of the 8th fret of the E and A strings and 10th fret D string and 10th fret G string then slide that chord down a half step. Third fret power chord. Second fret. Open. And do it again. Then you can do that same chord with the two fingers higher up on the fifth fret of the E string. Then second fret E string. Normal power chord. Do that um, chord with the two fingers higher up. Move it down half step from the fifth fret, the fourth fret, third fret. Do it again. Palm muted. Do it again. And do this once more. And then the last part of the song is slightly slower. Not that slow, but um, you can do the, the two different ones. Those two. And you're just going to stop here. With an 8th fret of that chord with the two fingers higher up. Five times. And then go down a half step to the 7th fret chord. Hit it twice. 